Introducing first the challenger, standing to my right. He weighed in tonight at 90 kilos and he hails from the Shadow Isle. He is fear itself, Zach Sabbath. He weighed in tonight at 102 kilos and is the reigning, defending, Riot City Wrestling Champion. He is the Tsar of the Sega Mega Driver. He is the bearded assassin, notorious, world-class, Chris Masso! Listen, I generally wrestle with a chewing gum, but I seem to have left it out the back. Does anyone here have a chewy? Yeah. He's got a chewy, all oh, right. Legends, yeah, legends, round of applause. Did you hear what I heard? Which particular bit? Cheers for Zach Sabbath. Lots of cheers for Zach Sabbath. Lots of cheers for our champion, world-class Chris Basso as well. And of course, cheers for Zach Sabbath. Don't forget Nick's chick. No, Selena is her name. Nick's chick. Or do I call it Chris's chick? Maybe one day, in 2019, Wolfdog will become enlightened. Nonetheless, we are underway with our main event. See, I think it's wonderful that these fans are now jumping on the Zach Sabbath bandwagon. Yeah. Listen to that noise, Wolfdog. Listen to that crowd. This is what 2018 has been building toward, the collision between these two men. Now, Wolfdog, you know Sabbath fairly well. Is this mind games? Is this nerves? I oh, know he's just stretching up there. He's got to get himself stretched up. He doesn't want to cause himself an injury. This is one of the biggest matches in his career. Zach Sabbath said he has nothing to lose. He will do whatever it takes to take away not only this Riot City Wrestling Championship that sits here on our desk, but also everything that Chris Basso loves. Well, you know what? He came to RCW because he wanted to wrestle the absolute best and prove to everybody he's just that. Well, he is wrestling the absolute best right now. He's Absolutely. wrestling world-class Chris Basso. So he, I guarantee you he's going to go to every length and at every possible means necessary to try and capture that championship tonight. Oh, look at that. Inverted atomic drop there by Chris Basso. Chris Basso, meanwhile, said he had everything to lose, but that meant he had everything to fight for. Oh, we know this man. Uh, all pun intended, is a cornerstone of this company. Four-time RCW champion. He is the face that built the place. Alongside his brother. Absolutely, he was here on that sh very first reanimated back in 2006. 
Without the Basso brothers, there is no Riot City. Whoa! But Sabbath says that his is the face that will lead the company into 2019. And Chris Basso has made it very clear when I interviewed him that he fears a world led by Zach Sabbath. Now it seems some of these residents would welcome it. Whoa! Well, what can I say, Sean? Some people just want to watch the world burn. That may well be the case, but in that case, Basso is determined to be the firefighter that puts that out. With extreme prejudice. Well, Zach Sabbath, Jim, you have to focus on this task at hand. Keep his... Focus on Chris Bass and don't worry about Nick's chick. And this is the thing. Whoa, All these what the heck? Fans. Well, there you go. Look at this fan now jumping in, in over the railing at Zach Sabbath. Zach Sabbath grabbed that poor girl oh, out of the on. crowd. Referee, get these fans out of here. They've got no right to jump over the ring railing and the wrestlers. The wolf dog, wolf dog, don't. This what? is a serious situation right now. Look out! Oh, look at that. Zach Sabbath pushing that fan to safety out the way before That poor Chris girl could be traumatised for the rest of her life after that. Well, that was lucky for Zach Sabbath, lucky for that young lady that Zach Sabbath saved her there. What? Pushed her out the way before Wolf dog. Chris, Chris Basso hit her. You were gonna, you can see that. Chris Basso was about to clock her. Wolf dog, normally I tolerate your, let's call it, jaundiced view of current events, but not at that. Come on. Sabbath said he would stop at nothing. He's just proven it there. Well, Sean, I know you have a little bit of trouble understanding this, but, you know, respect in that all, all only goes so far. When you become a professional wrestler, when you are competitive in that ring, what you want to do is get these opportunities like this to be the best of the best, to be able to carry a championship like the RCW title. But this is the thing, Sabbath doesn't need to do that. He is one of the best competitors in this country, one of the best competitors in the world. He is at the very top of Riot City. He has earned his way there. He doesn't need any shortcuts. He doesn't need any cheap roads. It's not about having cheap roads, Sean. It's about going that extra mile to be able to do absolutely anything. Oh, look at that. Beautiful T-bone suplex there, going for the cover now, hooks the leg. Zack Sabbath is as dangerous a man as ever walked the aisle in Riot City. Oh, he doesn't need to do those things to show what sort of championship material he is. He's won, he's won championships in places before. He had a fantastic career before he made a hit at RCW. That's my point. That's my point. Certainly doesn't need to be endangering little girls. He saved her, Sean. Uh, For goodness sake. Uh, check out, check out Riot City Wrestling's YouTube account later when the match is up and I'm sure you'll see that. Can I mute you? No. Zach Sabbath now trying to whip Chris Basso in there, but world class managing to hold onto that top rope. It'd be fair to say that Basso has been taken off his game by that unexpected turn of events. He's going to try to get his head back in this match, or he's going to be leaving without the Riot City Wrestling Championship. Well, he wasn't expecting the fans to come and attack him. Fighting back now. Close line, duck under there. Zach Sabbath. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful drop kick, taking the knee out. Shining Wizard there now, Zach Sabbath. Just gets the shoulder up. And I saw from my vantage point here, Zach Sabbath also made sure that Chris Basso's left arm was tucked right in so he couldn't reach for the ropes. Absolutely, this is not his first rodeo here. He's had the shots at the RCW Championship before, and as I said, very successful career outside of RCW. He's had a lot of big, big batch experience. Basso is not going to submit, I can tell you that right now. Too much on the line. This is about more than two men fighting. This is about more than victory. This is about the future and the soul of this company going into 2019. About 10 years ago when Zack Sabbath actually won his first championship in wrestling. Now 10 years later he's in RCW fighting for the biggest prize, one of the biggest prizes in Australian wrestling today. Look at that now. The RCW champion now with those Tomahawk type drops there. Look at this. That's us firing back. Vintage Basso there. Absolutely. We know what's coming next. Look at this. Chris Basso with no stopping him whatsoever. 
Big impact there. You've got to wonder whether the pressure is weighing on Basso's mind right now. Like he said in that interview, I have everything to lose, so I have everything to fight for. He truly feels like the future of this company is resting on his shoulders right now. Well, you know, being that he was part of you know, the, the start of his company, and as you said, was you know, the face that built the place, he takes a lot of responsibility on his own shoulders for this company and how it's represented. So he, he will be feeling, not only could he lose the championship, but he's going to let down all the residents if that indeed does happen. Hanging on there for dear life. Big shoulder block there now. Chris Basso. Setting up Zach Sabbath. Zach out of the way. Oh, big clothesline there. Onto the apron. No, not onto the apron. Straight wow, onto, onto the, the floor, floor, Wolf Dog. Oh, that could be even worse. From the way he was headed down, I can't see from here, but it looked like he landed head first as well. Well, you look at the concern on the face of Nick Schick over there. Selena. Whatever. Her name is Selena. Nick Schick, as I said. But she's looking very concerned. Zach Sabbath now. Look at his second turnbuckle. Ready to fly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Straight to the heart of world-class Chris Basso. Oh, I've never seen a risk that Zach Sabbath was uh, worried about taking. And that is something that I'm sure Chris Basso is well aware of. Zach Sabbath will put the uh, literal life on the line out there, not worrying about his own health and safety if he's going to get him a win in this match. Yeah, but if this match ends in a count out, Absolutely. The championship will not change hands. Absolutely. But look at this now, Zach Sabbath rolling him back in. He knows exactly that. We call it the champion's advantage. The title cannot change hands. Cover on anything less than a pinfall or a submission. No cone out, no disqualification will be good enough to render you the champion. Sabbath not welcoming the chance, screaming back at the residents, shut up, I hate you. Well, you know, we're at their support being for the years, you know? Jump on the bandwagon now, yeah, good. I can honestly say that I'm sitting next to the OG Zach Sabbath fan. Yourself. You've always boosted him. Well, he's an incredible talent, but so is the man he's in the ring with. Look at that fighting back. I mean, that could be said for the... Whoa! Oh my God, look at that! What look the... Look at oh. that athleticism right there! Oh my God, Wolf Dog Basso might have met his match. Well, time will tell. Zach Sabbath's going to find that moment in this match and take full advantage of it because we know darn well that Chris Basso will. Basso now blocking. Looks like he's trying for a superplex here. But you're right, Chris Basso being smart enough or, or having enough in the tank still to block him. Slapping him down, forearms. Both in a high risk. High risk area here. Look at this now. Oh my Put him up on the shoulders. Oh my god. I don't think he's going Nothing that. good can come from this. Definitely not going. Oh! Good lord. That's oh. got to be it. Wow. Basso is not only legitimately surprised by that, he is hurting. Look at that. Well, both of these guys are hurting, and, and I'm... That was, that was a huge move there, just literally dropping Zach Sabbath. Well, the referee... Referee getting in the way there. Oh, no, he... Oh, look at that beautiful insecurity! Go for the cover now, hooks the leg. How close... to two count. Sabbath going to the top. Taking a lot of time to get up there. Maybe a little bit too long. Couldn't quite get his balance on that top turnbuckle. Basso able to capitalize. Well, at least you're not gonna call that sportsmanship there, Sean.
mouth and chops like a basso. Oh, absolutely not. Look at this now. Looks like we could begin. Oh, wait. I thought we were going to go for a superplex here. Oh, wait a minute. This could be a Spanish fly. Here. Spanish fly. Oh, my God. Holy. What they said. Basso can't get there. Wasting valuable time. Goes down now, hooks the leg again. If he'd just been a little bit closer, if he hadn't had to crawl so far, that might have been a three count. You notice every cover here, both men are hooking the leg. They're trying to make every cover count. No one is leaving anything to chance. Well, you know what? You just have to kick out that a little bit harder when there's a leg hooked. The crowd says this is awesome, we agree. Oh, I didn't expect anything less from these two. Uh-oh. Well, I don't Sabbath think that was just good. made Basso angry. Speechless by this exchange between these men. Chris Basso now going up. Nobody home. Well, telegraph that a little bit. Zach Sepp is right out of the way. Look at this. Can we go for the foul driver? He oh, he's going. That's it. That's it. We've got a new champion. champion. Oh, come on. Chris Basso saves himself with good ring positioning. Look, he's got one in there. Hooks the leg again. And kicks out. Chris Basso is still alive. Well, that was that moment Zach Sepp had to capitalize on. He dropped him with his finisher. Veteran instincts. That's a ring general right there. Knows exactly where he is at all times, even after he's been dropped on his head. Well, maybe also a oh. bit of luck. Oh, well. Did she just take a swipe at Zach Sepp? She did not. She did no such thing. Oh, now he's going to give her the ball driver. Was he? Well, he's, he was almost begging him to not do it. Oh, but re reversal. Oh, he hit uh -oh. him hard. He went down hard there. Referee Michael Kent might have been caught up in that. Chris Basso checking on Selena. Checking on Nick's chick there. Selena looks to be okay. Oh! What the hell? Selena, oh my god! Oh, that was incredible! Oh, look at this! No! Yes! What the hell? Oh, yes! yes. No champion! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner! A new! CW champion, Zack Savile! I cannot believe what we just witnessed.